Hello, and welcome to the Counterman Education Center. Today, we are going to talk about an exciting subject. While superchargers used to be reserved for race cars, today they are far more commonplace than they used to be. So let's get charged up and learn about these fascinating performance enhancers. The supercharger is like a cousin to the turbocharger. Both work on the premise of increasing the amount of air and fuel that can be utilized in the combustion chamber. How they do it is completely different. We've discussed earlier that turbos use exhaust gases to spin a turbine that in turn rotates a fan to produce boost. The superchargers accomplish the boost in an entirely different way. The supercharger uses existing rotational engine energy to spin the charger. So in effect, the supercharger does use some of the power it is creating. Funny cars use superchargers, and these superchargers can use up to 1,000 horsepower to do their work. But that's a good trade-off because they allow the engine to produce around or over 10,000 total horsepower. There are basically three types of superchargers. The first kind is the roots type blower. It was developed in the 1800s by the Roots brothers to increase the efficiency of their blast furnaces. These blowers do not compress the air and work like a simple air pump. They tend to be lower on the maintenance side, but they do create heat and they are the least efficient. The second kind of blower is the centrifugal style blower. These blowers are very similar to a turbocharger and can be driven by a belt with either engine or an electric motor. If you want to spin them faster for more boost, a gear drive can be added to attain additional RPMs. The main drawback to these blowers is like that of a turbocharger. They do not create boost until they spool up. The final type of blower is the twin screw type. This blower has tapered rotors that are machined to incredibly tight tolerances. They are very efficient and give almost instantaneous boost. They're considered positive displacement and they do compress the air and fuel mixture charge for a greater charge density. The drawback to this type of blower is they are more costly to make and they require more space and effort to engineer the installation. A favorite in the supercharger world are the 71 series blowers that we're all familiar with. Interestingly, these were designed for early GM diesel engines and were scavenger blowers used to scavenge exhaust gases out of the early diesel engines. You may also run into an engine that appears to have a box built around the carburetor. These use a belt-driven air pump to increase the charge air in the engine. They are akin to the Paxton superchargers seen on many old Shelbys. Well, that's just about it for the world of superchargers, and we look forward to seeing you next time.